What's good y'all, John D. Saunders here. Thank you for coming through. In today's video, I'm talking about five amazing web design tools that you can use for inspiration when you're designing your dope projects. Let's go. Through this list quickly, because I do not want to waste your time. So. One is a platform called Lapa.ninja. Now, most folks, they might go to Behance or Dribble for web design inspiration. Those websites are great. They provide a plethora of amazing designers, developers, and UI folks that are creating really great content and, and displays of their knowledge and design and web development. But what I wanna do with Lapa Ninja is show you this amazing platform where it aggregates all the best websites organized by category that are live and out there. So with Dribble and Behance, a lot of those projects are spec projects, right? They might not be rooted in true development. With Lap and Ninja, you're getting a look at websites from all across the internet that are actually live and in front of you. So you can actually visit the sites, look at the interactions, use them for motivation. So let me show y'all, it's pretty dope. So as you can see, I'm on the homepage here. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna aggregate this on most recent. What you wanna do is if you're looking for inspiration, sometimes you can lose that, right? If you're working on a project, sometimes you're like, well, you know, I don't have any ideas. I don't know what concepts would work with this. What you can do is you can hit this landing page dropdown and it has everything by category. So if you're, let's say, let's say you're working on a health and fitness brand, you can click health and fitness. And what's dope here is you can also organize it by color. So if I hit that drop down, I can do, okay, well, I'm looking for a dark theme or a lighter theme or maybe something white. And it'll pull all the designs based on that. So I'm hitting health here. Where to go? Health and fitness. So we can see that. And here I am. So here's all the pages that have been uploaded. And I can grab inspiration from these to get motivation for my designs. We do this all the time when we're creating artboards for our website projects as well as brand guidelines. So I'm scrolling through anything that stands out, I'll go ahead and check it out. So let's go back to the top and let's just click uh, Drink Zuzu, for example. It'll bring you to that landing page and then you'll be able to see the categories that it's refined as when it was added to the platform. And then I'm looking at it here. And then what I can do is I can scroll to the top and I can either click this or click visit and it'll give me a live version of the website, which is pretty dope. So now I can see what that site looks like in real time. Now, when we're doing our, our different projects and we're creating inspiration, we'll use a platform like Figma to be able to track and, um, and download images of these websites. And what it does is it just helps us for motivation in regards to our designers, collaborations, and things like that. So if I go here, I'm just gonna show you just some inspiration here. I can go to website artboard and once I click here, I just add in images and screenshots of these websites. So as you can see, I've got three websites here. I can hit the comments and I can see recent comments that I've left and added here. So again, going back to Lapa Ninja, it's just a really great tool for looking at websites, getting inspiration, and then being able to see that website in real time. That's the biggest, the biggest uh, pull with that. One thing I wanna add too, and this is going into my second web design tool that I love, it's called Wappalizer. So it quickly identifies technology on website. Now the great thing about this is it does this instantaneously through Google Chrome. So let's say going back to Lapa Ninja, I go to Drink Zuzu, and I'm like, okay, well what technology is this website using? How do they build this out? I can click the Wappalizer link here and it'll tell me, okay, well this site was built in Webflow. Uh, they have Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics. They're using, um, uh, they're using Shopify for the e-commerce components of their site. So this site might be split in half, right? You might have the front end through Webflow, the back end through Shopify, or maybe they're using some type of third party uh, platform to connect those like Udesly, right? So it's really cool to be able to see that technology quickly. Now, bonus, um, <laughs> bonus tool is called Built With. So Built With is just like Wappalizer. It just gives you a more thorough look at the technology behind the website. And it organizes it per category. So I can see analytics, what's installed on the website. I can see the widgets they're using, right? They're using ElfSite, they're using MailChimp. I can look at the content delivery network, right? CloudFront, most Webflow websites are in AWS. So you'll probably see this in most of those. Cloudflare as well. Um, Webflow, so all of those are included here. So as you're scrolling down, you can see the SSL. I mean, it has tons of information. So if you want to see a quick bird's eye view, check out 
Wappalizer right here. If you want to see more details, check out Built With. We use these all the time when we're doing in the part of our research phase for web design. So that's the first tool. I know that was a mouthful, but I hope you got some value from it. Second one is Flowbase. Um, this is an amazing tool. I'm a big proponent of Webflow, as you all know if you've checked out my other videos. But man, this tool is just phenomenal. So what the folks at Flowbase have done is they've created essentially templates, components, apps that you can use for your website where you can literally drag and drop different sections of a site. Now I won't go into detail on Webflow as a content management system, but just know if you go here and let's say you go to premium components, you can go here and you can grab components that you need. So a pop-up model, content, you know, and it's organized by category as well. So if I need navigation, I can look at different navigations from this simple kind of drop down to more of like a super or mega menu. There are just tons of resources here. Now, there's different sections on Flowbase. It does have a premium subscription side, which is $39 per month, which if you know is a super steal because their library is just huge. They've got dozens and dozens of components you can use to build out a site. So think of Flowbase as a component library. You can go there and basically piece together a website that's cohesive and that looks really great for what you're trying to accomplish. Now, they also have free stuff, right? They've got free templates here where you can get blog templates, a job board, CMS, uh, portfolio pages. So if you're just starting out or you're building a website or you're doing something internal and you just wanna get started, check out Flowbase. It's an amazing tool. They have tons of free and premium resources that you can use to build out your site to inspire your design. Next tool I wanna show you is UI8.net. Now this is, the design industry's like best kept secret. Now this site curates design resources to help you in your creative workflow. And they're organized by category. So if I hit browse, and let me zoom in here so y'all can see this loud and clear. So if I hit browse, they got wireframe kits, illustrations, icon sets, fonts, presentation platform. I mean, if I click wireframe kits, and we actually use some of these for our wireframes for Figma, and it's just easy to start from a library, especially when we're doing a low fidelity wireframe. Now, if you click one of these, I mean, one, it's extremely affordable. You have viral app wireframe. So if I'm doing an app, let's say it's a financial based app, it'll tell me what platforms it's available in. Looks like Sketch and Figma. It'll give me previews of what those look like. And I can literally purchase this for 29 bucks. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. They also have illustrations. We purchased a few illustrations on this pack as well. And they've inspired some of the designs that we created also. So if you're working on a project that needs a 3D illustration or wants a visual feel, you can grab those from the site and you'll get some really high quality illustrations here that are super affordable. I mean, look at this. This is 34 bucks for these amazing illustrations that you can then leverage and use in your projects. So also you've got presentations, fonts, icon sets. If you need some icon sets, you can do that. The organization that I love about this too is everything is categorized, right? So let's say we wanna do social icons or maybe we wanna do solid color or maybe something revolving around food. And I can pick the platform. So I can do Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, Sketch, Figma, XD, all that. It's just an amazing platform. We've used it tons of times for just ideas, creative inspiration. Uh, sometimes we uh, leverage the icon sets as well. So just a really great tool for web designers um, to use. Next up, we've got, and last but not least, is uh, the Creative Edge, which is a blog on 99designs. So they have really great content on just um, things going on in the design industry. So how to find your brand target audience, um, growing your agency, learning design. I mean, it talks about conceptual design, universal design. I try to read one or two of these a day just to keep acclimated in the industry to know what's going on, to keep my finger on the pulse of what's happening. And these blogs are actually really well put together. 99 Designs is, you know, as you as you know, uh, a logo design company, but their blog content is just really, really great. It's thoroughly researched. It's by real bloggers and designers in the space. And it's just a really cool concept to be able to use. So I, I try to read one or two blogs a day from this platform to make sure I'm staying on the pulse of what's going on. And that's it, guys. That's the five that I got for you. If you wanna grab the link, there's a link below where you can just grab it. It's a Google Doc, you know, there's no opt-in. You can grab that when you need it, and uh, I hope this helped. Thank you guys for checking out the content. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below the inspirational tools you're using in your projects, and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.